Welcome back to Greels Reels, everyone. We have a very special episode for you today. Today is the first part in a two-part series on Ottawa Elite Play On Champions. We've partnered up with Play On to tell the stories of great memories and moments in its history. Play On is the official Canadian street hockey tournament and a non-for-profit organization. So this is why you're going to want to hit that subscribe button or follow button so you don't miss a second. Now, heading into today's episode, the reason why we only have half the team here is because of the difficulty of time zones. A few of the members now of this group are playing professionally over in parts of Europe, and so they're already fast asleep probably right now. Um, I don't know. You think, uh, Dingo, you think Bevy's asleep yet? I doubt it. <laughs> I got to think Bevy is. Maybe not Mark, though. <laughs> <laughs> as far as introductions, you may recognize uh, some of the guys here as they've been guests on the show before. One of them actually started uh, this podcast with me, uh, but I'll let the guys take it away here now and tell them, uh, let them tell you a little bit about themselves and their hockey background. Cody, you want to get us started here? Sure. Uh, Cody Drover. I'm from Grand Falls, Windsor, Newfoundland and Labrador. Um, I met Griel's my second year was it your first year Chris? yeah i think so. i think it was my second year yeah uh anyway i played junior hockey in diep for the diep commandos uh graduated there moved on to the university of ottawa ggs played four years and i'm now a retired stay-at-home dad <laughs> that's all uh, life comes at you fast <laughs> <laughs> Dingo, you want to? Um, Mitchell, um, I yeah, sure, go ahead, give you. And uh, currently living in Kingston. Grew up all my life in Coburg, and used to play with all these guys at U Ottawa, and uh, just a couple <laughs> former champions on this pod. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Uh, Kevin the Mang um, played in QMJHL for Sherbrooke Phoenix. Played in Alberta for the in the AJ. Um, I'm a fifth year for uh, U Ottawa men's hockey program. And uh, yeah. Still got the old play on shirt too, rocking the style. Oh yeah. I, w- oh, yeah. I was looking for my medal. I couldn't find it just a minute ago. <laughs> oh, I couldn't man. find my medals. I was like, uh, I found my shirt. I was like, might as well. And uh, uh, my name's, my name's Jeremy Broder. Uh, met all these guys through uh, my brother, Anthony, who played at university of Ottawa with them. I am, Played in the OHL growing up and now playing professional hockey. Currently nowhere, but we're working on that. I was in, uh, in Europe last year in, uh, in Sheffield, England. I finished the year out. So now with all the COVID stuff, just waiting to see uh, what, what I'm going to do. TC United Ted Lindsay Award winner. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's awesome. We uh, It's definitely a lot of uh, incredible hockey backgrounds here. And even the, the guys that we'll be recording with later this week, uh, you know, the resumes are, are pretty incredible. But uh, let's just kind of start with, so how did this team form? How did you guys all get together and realize that this was something that you wanted to do? Um, I'll take this one. Um, yeah. <laughs> well, play on in Newfoundland is always massive. And I played in it since I was... I'd like to say 15 and uh, I remember just watching the elite players and like, I was like, yeah, let's, uh, let's get a team play on Ottawa. And we were like, what division should we go in? And I'm like, I don't know, boys, like elite is pretty good. And they were like, well, we got to go in elite. Uh, Looked up the rules and where we had played such a high level hockey, we had to play in elite. We're like, oh, well, let's just go in, have some fun. And basically what we ended up doing was just, messaging all the guys who still lived in Ottawa getting together uh having some fun brought a couple ringers in yeah (laughs) yeah so that's basically how it started and then Dingle really took the reins on basically everything else from there he got us t-shirts hats so Dingle can touch on that if he wants yeah I was gonna wait leading a lot a lot of a lot of people are like oh the the fees are a little bit too or stuff like that. So I was like, oh, let's try to get some sponsorships. So I went to FNS. I went to during that time, we're all living at TC United. Uh, so I asked, like, I was working with them too during the summer. So I asked them and somebody else. So we got three sponsorship that gave us money to help for the fees. And that's, yeah, they give us a, a hat, a t shirt. 
We even printed and, some uh, some logos and put them on the on the t-shirt in the background. On the back. <laughs> I mean, we were so, decked out. We looked yeah. good. Like we went we went I mean, all in. We went all the, in. The the like the uniforms for everyone were elite, but we just were professional. We were did like, you see, like oh, the did you see our it. hat screels? Did you ever see yeah, our hats? We we weren't the most professional team there though. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Did you ever see our hat still grills? No, I don't think I've. I've they were uh, they were gong show the whiskey bar hats. Yeah, we had, <laughs> yeah. They they yeah. didn't want to give us um um money or something, but they like oh we'll give you hats and we yeah. were we were the hats. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, you guys ended up finding a, a lot of sponsors: the whiskey bar, uh, downtown Ottawa, and then you got F and S and TC United. That's that's huge. So once you once you got all the sponsors together and stuff like that, and you know the jerseys were ready to roll. I mean, you know, the majority of you guys, uh, I think actually with the exception of Jeremy, we're all teammates at some point. So like how much did you uh, get to practice with each other before the big uh, weekend? Oh. <laughs> there, there was no practicing uh, done for in leading up to play on. Basically what it was, was we were thinking like we're hockey players and I had, I had the lowest expectations and not going to lie, like seeing back in Newfoundland, like the elite, is like they're they're ball hockey players like they're not like yeah they're ice hockey players but they're just such good ball hockey players and I had such low expectations and then we got out there our first game <laughs> we got out there our first game first shift I think it was Gibby was it you yeah <laughs> first shift so we like step onto the ice like pretty much as late. the finish up warm ups like we're we yeah. were late we yeah. were right late too first game. we were and late. we don't know how we're gonna be and I think. At that time, Anthony would have been net kick save yeah. off the trover. He like sauce is the ball over like a defenseman stick to like me for like a one timer <laughs> bar down in, and that was it. And we we're like, I think I think we're gonna be okay at this. Point. <laughs> yeah, it was wild. It was like uh, Amer- uh, a American team or something. I would like uh, yeah, they Amer- were American. Oh, yeah, oh, they they were all the Eagles on their chest. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but their last name, the, the the names in the back, we were like all like jokes, like yeah, like, made yeah, those guys America, were funny. Yeah, all oh, the the energy drink guys. Yes, like yeah, what, yeah. Were, what were their names, man? They were wild. I still uh, follow we, the guys energy drink. Account. Trump donkeys, Trump <laughs> donkeys, or something yes. like that. The, the we had, yes, yes. yes. we had we had Cam too, just like following us, like social yeah. media, taking pictures and video. We like. We, yeah. Oh yeah, we, we were, had some we were, we were, heroes there for sure. <laughs> yeah, we were uh, extra. Yeah. Great, uh, Cam <laughs> ha- has like the numbers for the whole season on like uh, our Twitter, uh, not men- not Act- notifications, but like like uh, activities, uh, activities, yeah. like like yeah. There's a word I can't think of. Anyway, that had the most like uh, that was the most liked or retweeted post like our play on post that year yeah, engagement yeah. there it is yeah, yeah, yeah. the most so, engagements were from our play on post that season <laughs> from the uh the actual like university of Ottawa gg's uh account i came okay. yeah like I the most it. engagements was from play on that summer yeah <laughs> that's like, incredible so i guess you guys, like, you guys like- didn't have your own uh, social media uh, team names you weren't one of those teams no no, Just- yeah. <laughs> no. we're a one hit wonder what were you going to say, Gibby? All good. Um, <laughs> I don't know what I was about to say. Just jumping in. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's awesome. It, it's cool that you guys got to, to capitalize, too, on your own uh, university's, uh, you know, social media accounts mm-hmm. and still uh, document the weekend in, in that way. Uh, so, I mean, tell me about the competition uh, and the breakdown of that uh, weekend. Because, I mean, uh, did you guys end up playing, like, uh, you know, Ottawa Elite had some pretty, like, you know, notable names, uh, you know, Ryan Spooner, uh, Pajot. Uh, did you guys end up playing any of those guys? Um, they, that their team, they were on the same team, Spooner and Pajot, I think. I'm not sure. I'm probably wrong, but we didn't have to play them in the round robin. It would have been the semifinals, then, right? It would have been the semis, but we ended up being the first seed and they were the second seed. So we had to play like the fourth place team and they had to play the third place team and then the third place team beat them yeah the god so the godfathers are sort of grills these guys were uh, gritty (laughs) oh we gritty we we roll into our first game late these guys were already there in like a massive like u-haul like truck 
with outdoor sofas. Like yeah, they coolers. literally brought so not indoor sofas that they brought outdoors. Like, <laughs> it was like a boots sofas, and hearts yeah. setup. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like they were locked in for a weekend to win and have Big some jerseys fun. too. They had some sick jerseys. Or, weren't they? Weren't they like tell uh, one story. Yeah. Uh, like rated like uh, first in Ottawa for like ball hockey team or something like that. You go first, Jeremy, then I'll and I'll say what what I think. So I mean this might be a story for later on, but I'm just gonna tell it now anyway. <laughs> so I remember like, you know, we're having a great weekend, successful. We obviously had to pay our friends at Whiskey Bar yeah. a visit. And this was the <laughs> night before the finals. And I go to get a drink at the bar, and this guy starts chatting me up, starts talking about play on hockey other teams do a while and how they had to be home by 11 o'clock because they had a championship game and i was like guys we're doomed like these guys are perfect <laughs> like yeah then, these guys had a set curfew and um we were we were we were all like hanging out together at Greeley that after the round robin so we had beat them in the round robin like two to one, two to one? yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, we were actually pretty happy about that. Like, if we lost the next day, we probably would have been just as happy. Anyway, Ended up we, in fight. Yeah. Anyway, we Google, we Google like, when we get home, like, their team name. And in 2016, they were the 12th ranked ball hockey team in North America. Like, with, like, but legit, like, legit listings, like, top 10. <laughs> New, the, the Newfoundland Black Horse was up there, girls. Okay. No way. Yeah, I remember yeah. – uh... When I did the play-by-play uh, uh, sure. play for uh, play on Newfoundland, the Black Horse was definitely mm-hmm. the Power Horse. So we we actually just had somebody uh, join us. So Anthony uh, is on the golf course right now. He's able to hop in. He's yeah, he's in the, he's in the tee box right now. But I'm sure we'll get a uh, an introduction from uh, from him oh. soon. Um, yeah. So I mean, anything uh, anything else that kind of rings a bell in terms of like just the competition level. Yeah, the Creoles, um, basically, the Godfathers were, like, the number one team to beat in the whole tournament. So, after we beat them, we were pretty pumped. And then we played... Carlton uh, team. A Carl- the Carlton team. This is, yeah, this we got a buy. Yeah, Luckily, we, we got a buy because we wouldn't have been good that morning. <laughs> no, yeah. It, we were 3-0 round robin, so we got a buy past the morning game. Yeah. We we wouldn't have made the morning game. No one would have showed up to the morning game. We barely made the second game. And yeah, uh, we're all we roll in. Even. Yeah, we roll in, and Liam Houlihan and the boys have us Gatorade refills after refills after refills. And <laughs> <laughs> like and, I can't uh, tell you how, how like, when you we were a squad that day. Like we were rolling thirty. Yeah. Feet. Like we had yeah. <laughs> our whole team. There were significant <laughs> others of everyone. We had Liam, Cam, all those guys were there. And it was awesome. It was yeah. like, it was the most fun. We would step off the ice. We had Gator yeah. and Cam was taking photos for our social. It was awesome. Yeah, it was sick. And uh, we smoked that team. Like it wasn't even like, like it was I'm pretty sure Brody two. had six goals. I think Brody had six goals. All right, just like to uh, just just to recap, like I got people like talking smack behind me when I'm playing oh, yes. that because so here's why I had so I was using like pretty much my gear from the OHL that year, and the reason was like my brand new pads literally came in the day before I made the drive up to Ottawa. So I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna tape these up a little bit and then i'll just use them why not and everyone else is sitting there in like 30 year old gear <laughs> and i got people chirping me like road hockey gear. and jeremy's here using the brand new bowers <laughs> yeah hey, wow. remember the chirp like remember all the chirps you get on goalie gear that big facebook group of like twenty thousand fans like <laughs> literally everyone is just ripping into jeremy <laughs> Yeah, oh, my. just all, all over the place. I, I'm actually hearing some of this. I'm, I'm surprised you guys pulled it off in the end. But hey. yeah, <laughs> it was actually hey. like a... the second game against uh, Godfather. Didn't they? They say like, uh, oh, we scouted Brody in the net, and you guys switched goalie, and yeah. that's why we didn't play good or something. Yeah, that's what. That's what they that sc- got. They scouted me. Speed. 
a little yeah. little drama and so you kind of touched on it there uh you know with the atmosphere and the fact that you know give you said it perfectly like you guys were rolling with like 30 deep uh what i mean just uh, even more specific like how awesome was that uh, play on atmosphere then for you oh that last game was incredible yeah. we had a, a ring i still have the video posted on my instagram right now yeah i'll never forget it, it it was like there was just people behind us like all around wrapped around the boards and it was like a 2-1 nail biter and no one wanted the godfathers to win not one person there wanted the godfathers to win so you not even their own girlfriends they they, they were just uh they were what uh just betting on the underdog story then yeah that's exactly what it was grills and we were down this is the best part of the championship game (laughs) Yeah, we were we were down. Someone jump in if they have anything to say. So we were down two to nothing. There's only two periods. We were down two nothing going into the second period, and Bevy had gotten in a scrap and gotten kicked oh, out. And we're playing nothing. with and we're, it was, we're playing oh, with two D Greeley. So Bevy is one of our D. I'm the other. Bevy gets kicked out. We're down to one D. Gibby hops. Gibby hops back on D for the second period. And I've never really been sure. known for my goal scoring. <laughs> so I got hopped back. We put him back on D. And I'm, didn't you score two goals, Gibby? Yeah, we yeah, turned that Gibby scored both right goals. We turned that game right around. He's oh, a play on awesome. legend. Yeah. Wow, that was an incredible victory. Yeah. A total it team was the, it's, it's the best ball <laughs> hockey I've ever experienced. It was the best. You guys yeah, was play on the, uh, the airport runway, right? Yeah, that's where it was. Yeah. What what was that like? It was actually so, not not bad. Well, the yeah, one the, 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 on the main stage which we played a bunch of Yeah, it's just we locked into being on the 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 main court with like the boards and the the fence glass type thing. We were on that one like every game besides for one, I think. Yeah, we were prime yeah, we, time. Yeah, we yeah. Yeah, we had prime time. We had yeah. prime time. <laughs> <laughs> we we love the playoffs. <laughs> yeah so um a big thing with uh you know play on is just you know strengthening relationships so i mean what impact did it have on uh, your friend group getting to you know spend a weekend like that and you know being champions at the at the end of it i mean i try to do a yearly text <laughs> where every day it pops up in my facebook memory i try to get the group going again just to see what kind of energy we can get from it and if we <laughs> kind of maybe we'll find an extra tournament and we'll just throw the team back in i just want to run it back I'm thinking yeah, like now same. Not two, not yeah, three. like well, when do we get to play the next one? I know. Like, I I think it's done so much to strengthen the friendship because look at us right now. We're still yeah. talking yeah. about it in years. I love it. Yeah, yeah it's awesome. And three I, I, years later, you know, one thing that's cool and just kind of going back to the resume of your hockey careers. I mean, uh, you know, in this call, you know. Uh, I, I think Broad stepped out again, but I, like, you know, NHL draft picks, uh, you know, franchise uh, university program leaders in, in goals and assists and, uh, you know, Mem Cup champions as well, like all, all on this team, it, all those like special hockey moments that are, are definitely incredible. Where, where do you think the uh, Ottawa elite play on championship uh, also ranks in that uh, realm? Top one. Yeah, that's, it was I mean, just such. It was just such an unbeatable weekend. It's yeah, just, it, just, it was. It was. Fun. Yeah. and it was for for Jeremy too. Uh, it would really broke the ice for us for like getting to know Jeremy because he was an import flying in. Yeah, for us. <laughs> yeah, I do. And, uh, Probably the, the, the one first big weekend with Jeremy, which was fun. Kind yeah. of broke fully in. Yeah, and like we were sitting down, all of our team together uh, in. Gibby and Brody's apartment going over strategies. Yeah, I remember Gibby, Gibby doing a speech about the strategy to do it the next day. <laughs> oh, yeah. After yeah. day one, it was all business. We were winning yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> the, the first day got our energy, and the second day was business. We yeah. came to- <laughs> yeah. It was just such a good overall weekend. And it helped we didn't lose a game, but it was just such a good overall weekend. That was just, it's top, it's top, top one. Yeah. So, I mean, there's 2.5 million Canadians who have played in this event. Like, what do you think is so special about Play On and the program that makes so many Canadians want to participate in it? I think it's probably something that, that touches a lot of people in the sense that, like, when I grew up in Coburg, 
every all my friends went to Toronto to play it. And then I went away to school. I ended up playing play on in Ottawa. And so like it, it kind of it's just an awesome chance to like kind of get back with some buddies and play ball hockey. It, it's a lot of fun. It's it's it, it was unfortunate when we played that there was no nationals, but I think like the we were, whole play on setup is just so well ran that it just sets up for just an unbeatable weekend. Like it's just we, so well organized and stuff. We were ready to uh, miss a uh, training camp. Oh yeah. To go to we, nationals. We, we were we ready texted to our coaches Pat. and everything. Yeah, yeah. Like, hey, we're, we're missing training camp. We're going, we're going to national. Yeah. <laughs> it was unfortunate that didn't happen, but like, I can't imagine if that happened, it would have just been. Oh, we, anyway, on the we, had, we had the skill and the structure for it. Yeah. <laughs> In the heart. Boy, yeah, that would have been that would have been awesome to see. So, uh, I mean, what message would you guys give to organizers, you know, governments and sponsors who are considering bringing the program back in, in 2021 once, you know, COVID allows for it, like a, a return of the play on tournament? What would you say to those people? I'll speak for every Newfoundlander when I say, please bring back play on just every every person in Newfoundland out in St. John's for a weekend. It's just. It's hard to top that. It's a great weekend outside, enjoying your time, playing yeah. ball hockey in yeah. the street, like part of the culture. Like, mm-hmm. Regardless if we would have won or not, like it, obviously it's way better to won, but it was it was a crazy fun weekend. Like we had such a blast the entire time through. Yeah. Well said, Jeremy. Yeah, it was an absolute <laughs> blast. I think yeah. everyone's got to do it. Yeah. <laughs> um. All right, I uh, I, I got to sign off here. Let me get on yeah, the court now. Sure. Good luck, buddy. But, uh, Keep those legs moving. On, boys, and yeah. I luck. can't wait to hear the, the rest of the interview on the line. <laughs> yeah, Jeremy, I appreciate See you, you buddy. Uh, hopping in. Hey, guys. I'm back. <laughs> Bye, boys. Take care. See you, Jeremy. See ya. See okay, so we, we still got uh, – so we lost one broder, but we gained another broder. Uh, <laughs> I think, anyway. I, in and out. Was- Anthony's, uh, I think he's a little frozen right now, but we might still be able to. Yeah, I, I mean, battling, sir. What's up? Brody, quick, quick word about plans, quick before you disconnect again. Quick, you know, <laughs> there's no better time when I think about, you know, I, I mean, I haven't played much road hockey, but that was, <laughs> it was pretty incredible. Uh, <laughs> we had so much fun, and, you know, off the court, on the court, whatever you want to call it. We had a great time and probably the best team ever assembled, I would say. <laughs> Anthony, the, uh, the, fo- the folks haven't gotten an introduction from you yet. Uh, let, them, let them know who you are, what your hockey background is, and uh, what you're up to now because uh, you're definitely uh, doing some pretty cool things with golf. Oh, I think, I think there he goes. Service again. What a lie. Lock him out, girls. <laughs> Don't let him back in. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so I think, uh, I mean, one of the last little things is like, you know, how important was the play on event, you know, to your team? Like, uh, you know, we kind of touched on it a little bit before, but even just like kind of really honing in on that factor. Yeah. I think it just brought us like a lot closer together. It just included everyone and was a, was a chance to get outside of just hockey and just school and kind of the normal spots that we see everyone and gonna have a fun weekend outside where you get together and yeah everybody was working too so it was just like nice to like get away mm-hmm. from work and yeah get everybody get everybody together i feel like, like that's the one thing in the summers with playing university hockey and, and as soon as the summers you spend all school year every day every day you're like non-stop with them and then mm-hmm. as soon as you get to the summer you know you lose them for you know yeah. three months and so so this weekend was a chance for everyone to kind of get back. And even if you were in the same city, you just weren't seeing each other as much. And so yeah, it was exactly. just a chance where for like, you know, 48 hours, we were just locked in as a team again and just having mm-hmm. a blast trying to win a, win a championship. Yeah. No, that's awesome. Well said. Guys, uh, I mean, thanks so much for joining me this evening. That's uh, that's all I got for you guys. But I mean, this is the uh, the part of the podcast where – uh, you know, I just hand the show over to you. Uh, so now it's uh, it's your guys' show. You can really chat about anything that you want, a life lesson, a, a story, anything at all. Uh, so, I mean, we can either, you can do, you can do, feel free to do it collectively or if you want to take turns. But yeah, it's completely up to you. It's your show. Pick a story, drill over play on. Pick something while we're on. I know, play. I was trying to think when I said, my favorite one is when you just hop back on D and just pot too. 
I'm pretty well, sure you had one goal before that. The whole well, time. I mean, oh, oh, I mean, I'm kind of, I'm a former ball hockey player. Okay, Baltimore, yeah. Ontario, uh, Lee. <laughs> um, so it wasn't my first time. So I don't know about one goal, but it was hilarious that Beffy just got. He got kicked out. He got kicked, yeah. kicked out of a play on game. He got in a fight <laughs> in play on. Yeah, in the corner. And, yeah. Yeah. And then that then affected everyone else. It's yeah. like now I gotta have energy and I gotta go back on beat and I gotta do more work. Yeah, just something you haven't done before either. You're not like you're not a defenseman. You're at put the puck in the back of the net kind of forward and you gotta go shut down the godfathers back on the back end. Dingo, Must how's have been the tough. Uh, how's the U Ottawa team looking this year? Are we good? We're young, young, but really talented and skilled. Very fast, very yeah. French too, compared to the last four years. Some of these guys, like if Drovers to stay at home, Dad, we might be looking for new players. You know, this, this <laughs> yeah. team, we got to be scouting always for the future. We got to be going yeah. to play on. I yeah, I I, I can't can agree little, more. I'll start a little training camp outside and see uh, who can take mm. the spot. Yeah, we'll have to get Hopefully. to a game and, and check out. We'll we'll do our own scouting for it. Yep. Yep. We are Griot's also, we are the reigning U Ottawa Elite champions too. Like we still have the belt. Whenever that tournament comes back, we get the we get the first round by. <laughs> so that's on us. We get the first that's, round by in the main court. That number uh, one uh, number one games. seed. Yeah, the exactly. elusive number one seed. Okay, guys. Well, hey, this has been uh, awesome. Thanks so much for uh you know, joining us and, uh, you know, to everybody who's listening, uh, you know, thanks for, uh, you know, listening all the way to the end with us. If you enjoyed this podcast, make sure to share it with a friend and yeah, in the meantime, stay best kind.